Hello and welcome back to Melgar Media. Once again, coming at you on this very fine day. Uh, we're going to start off today with just a bunch of announcements from different platforms. Amazon Prime has got quite a few. And um, and there's Peacock and, and Paramount+. Plus. But uh, we'll start off with the first one, and that is God of War. Prime is trying to jump into the flagship action um, from PlayStation. If you played the games, you already know. To me, I think this is going to be a really hard ad- adaptation. I'm extremely worried. Already worried about the Lord of the Rings, um, Rings of Power that's coming out due to the trailer and the things that they're putting out uh, visually and aesthetic of the storyline and everything. And this is another one that I think they're going to struggle because it is being adapted by the Expanse creators uh, from the, the show, The Expanse creators, uh, Mark Fergus, and then Hawk Otsby, I think is his name. But he is the guy that is uh, the executive producer and showrunner for uh, Wheels of Time. And that show bombed. I mean, again, I didn't read the books, but just as a viewer and loving that genre, I was really hyped on it. I think I did good promoting for it. Storyline at the end of it was just terrible. The casting was just a mess. If that gets a second season, it's kind of like, why do we spend money on things that you know people are not super into? And then there's other shows that people show a lot of interest in, and they don't get a second season. Netflix, listen up, talking to you especially. But here nor there, uh, we should we shall see. I mean, Sony Pictures, they're teaming up with Sony Pictures. So, I mean, maybe they'll get one out of these four that they're trying to do. On to the next that we have. Um, I believe I'm going to talk about, oh, the new Star Trek. I am, As much as I'm into Star Wars, I'm into Star Trek as well. Do, 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 do. Um, this one is not on the Kelvin timeline, which means not along in the same timeline as the new Star Trek movies that are out, which a fourth installment is coming out. Um, but this one is a prequel to the original ser- series uh, from Star Trek and the Discovery series that's out right now. So the original series with Kirk and Spock, and this will have Spock in it, and it is... Um, going to be following the USS Enterprise in their early days under the regime of uh, Captain Christopher Pike. And uh, you've seen iterations of him in other shows as well as in the Kelvin Timeline movie. Uh, But this one actually looks pretty good. I saw the teaser trailer and I'm kind of excited for it. I think this one is uh, the one that we've been waiting for. And I think that this one will get a few seasons under its belt. It looks good. Uh, the soundtrack is great. They brought back the original theme song, so I'm excited to see that. And that's gonna uh, Captain Pike is gonna be um, done by an actor named uh, Ace on Mount, which uh, he's done some cool stuff, and I think he's the perfect age and the right person for the role. Also, moving right along, as I like to say, Pinocchio, another iteration of Pinocchio is coming out. And this is not the stop action one that's going to be on Netflix. This one is going to be done by Disney Plus itself. So it's probably going to be pull, pulling from the source material. And it does have a pretty good cast lineup, i got to say. Tom Hanks as uh, Geppetto. Jordan, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Jiminy Cricket. And then an upcoming child actor that I haven't really heard much about. Um, this guy, Evan Aston, but, um, the picture they just done a first look and it looks like, I mean, Tom Hanks rarely puts a foot wrong. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to see kind of what they're going to come up with this one. Um, no trailer or anything like that yet, but, uh, I will obviously talk more about it when more information is released. The next one I'm going to talk about is DC's dropping some new stuff, and this is an animation which I am, uh, I'm for it. It looks hilarious. Another team up from Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart. They're playing the pets, and this is called DC League of Super Pets, and uh, this has to do with Superman's pet dog and Batman's pet dog, 
and they end up teaming up to kind of show how they are the perfect sidekicks for their superhero counterparts. So, yeah, and the lineup is awesome as well. So playing Batman is Keanu Reeves. I think that's great casting, voice-wise. And um, Superman is John Krasinski. I mean, how do you not already love this? This is going to be great. Um, There is a trailer out already, so if you haven't seen that, please go and check it out. And, uh, yeah, the next thing that kind of took me off, uh, took me by surprise is uh, Yellowstone. As another spinoff. I mean, they are milking this franchise, and it has barely been out for a few years now. But this one is uh, the Four Sixes. As you saw in the end of last season, one of the characters traveled down there and got cowboyed up. So we shall see. I mean, this will be down in Texas, and um, they've given like a brief synopsis of of uh, how it's going to go and. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give it a ch- I'll give it a shot. 1883 did not impress. Uh, I thought it was r- very bland, dry. But like I said, some people enjoy it. So for it, I could be wrong. I could be super into this. One of my friends, uh, Lincoln, said that uh, they're going to do like the CSI and do a Yellowstone, Texas, Yellowstone, New York, Yellowstone. And I could totally see this uh, panning out that way. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got a good thing and it works. Go for it. Milk it all the way up. That being said, I'm going to talk about the last thing that came out, which was yesterday. You know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. The Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer finally dropped, and it looks amazing. I am really hyped for this. I won't go into too much detail or in depth because, like I said, we will be starting a Star Wars conversation channel show ish with one of my good friends William Furbish the third if you haven't checked his stuff out I'll put his twitch uh, link down below in his discord um, so you can get to know this personality but he is an absolute mastermind when it comes to all things Star Wars that is it for today's show I am pumped on seeing all of the superhero genre stuff and just there's just a lot of things that I as a kid really enjoyed and I'm pumped to see getting more and more ground. I am worried about some of uh, the channels and platforms that are putting the streaming platforms that are putting it out because I just think that they are trying to shove in their own little agenda and, and this and that. But Hey man, you know, at least we got all this content, especially with everyone becoming an introvert these days, which is the new cool. If you don't know, yes, we all got the memo. Um, then yeah, I mean, you're in heaven. So, and for me, if this is my job, I'm going to watch as much TV until my eyes burn out and enjoy every second of it. All right, everybody, but keep taking care of yourself. Uh, look after each other and have a great day, week, and I'll be coming back at you before you know it. Melgar Media out. Peace.